There's a number of triggers that can contribute to hoarding disorder. Some are biochemical in nature, meaning genetics. They might have family members who have struggled with hoarding disorder. It goes back to the nature versus nurture controversy. Is this a biochemical genetic issue or the nurture part is the environmental aspect. Were they raised in a home where they were taught to hold on to things? Psychologically, there can be many factors that contribute to someone who's struggling. Oftentimes we see trauma, we can see abuse, grief and loss issues, anxiety and depression. When people don't seek help, oftentimes they will channel these unresolved issues into hoarding behaviors. Going out and acquiring things makes them feel good, the thrill of the deal, being able to find something that they think is unique and that nobody else will find, being able to fix something, having a dream. The problem with hoarding disorder is there's lots of good intentions, but the failure to follow through with those intentions is what creates a lot of the problems. Right now I have about 15 dogs and nine cats. I can't open it. I'm horrified. I'm gonna have to call somebody to pull you out of there. I don't think I'm a hoarder.